Dr. Renu ma'am and my dear friends, a wonderful morning to all of you. Myself Dipti, I am the student of grade 8 standard. Today I am here to deliver a master the concept and my topic for concept is light. So let's get started. So students, you know that we can see all the things around us, right? We can see the things around us in the presence of light. Now a question arises here, what is light? Light is an energy that gives us sensation of seeing all the objects around us. Okay, in the earlier classes, you have learned about the reflection of light and laws of reflection. We will again study them but in a deep manner. So, first is reflection of light. Reflection of light means the bouncing back of light from an object to another. Okay, we can understand it by a diagram. See, it is a surface. We can see, say the mirror. Surface of a mirror. We can name it A, B. Okay, suppose a ray is coming on the surface of the mirror. We can name it as A, and we uh, will say it incident ray. Incident ray by A. Okay. A ray is falling on the surface of the mirror. Then the mirror will reflect a ray. B will say that it is reflected ray. Reflected ray by B. Okay. This ray is falling and this is reflecting. Now, there is one ray more on the surface of the mirror. This ray is called normal ray. Normal ray means this ray divides incident ray and reflected ray into two equal halves. And there is a law of reflection that is law of reflection. There are two laws of reflection as you have studied in your earlier classes. See, laws of reflection. First law is, stop it. First law is that both three rays, both three rays will lie on the same plane. As I have told you that three rays will on the surface of the mirror and this is the first law that all these three rays will lie on the same plane. Second law is the incident ray and the reflected ray will be on the same angle. It means that if the incident ray is on 145 degree, then the same reflected ray will also be on 145 degree. Okay, this is called a, this is called a law of reflection that, that there are three types of beams. These are parallel beams, convergent beams and the divergent beams. First is parallel beams. Parallel beams means that they will go in the same line. They will never meet again. Second is convergent beams. Convergent beams means they will come from different places and they will meet at a point. Divergent ray means that they will come from a point and they will meet at a single point. Now students, we will study about the human eye. You know how we can see from the human eye? I will tell you the parts of the human eye. See, this is the structure of human eye. There is, first is corona. Corona is the outermost part of the human eye and it covers the front of the eye. Second is pupil. It is called the gate of the eye. It allows light to pass through the eye. This is iris. It holds the lens in the eye. And this is the lens from which we can see the images, world, objects, so many things, right? And this is retina. 
Retina is the place where the object of image formed in our eye. This is sclera. It is the water body of the eye. This is called a chloride. It is orange colored present in the eye. So students, this is the structure of eye. I hope you understand it. Now we will study how we are able to see the objects. In this, we will study about luminous objects and non-luminous objects. What are luminous objects? See. Luminous objects. Luminous objects means that the objects which emit their own light. Example, sun. Sun is the natural emitting light. It emits the most light in the world. And moon. Moon is partially emitting light means it takes its light from the sun and emits. Means it has no its own light. Okay. Now second one is non-luminous objects. What are non-luminous objects? Known luminous objects. Known luminous objects doesn't emit light. Just like this duster. This duster is emitting light or not? No. So it is a non-luminous object. And we can take so many examples more. Just like table, fan. We can add ordinary fan as well. Blackboard. And so on. Okay students, have you got it? Now we will study about the dispersion of light. See, this is called the dispersion of light. Means a light which is coming on the plane surface or we can say the surface of a mirror. And it will scatter light in so many parts. So it is called a dispersion of light. And when the light is spreading or scratching, we can say it is called a spectrum of light. And this is the phenomena by which we can see the rainbow or a rainbow is formed. So students, this is all for today. I hope you understand it and enjoy it. Thank you and have a nice day.